Big Daddy Vic revealing my dream home gym. This is definitely about to be a vibe. Definitely. For real, you're not really into it? I don't know, YouTube boxing stuff is kind of, it is kind of getting lame, but we still rock it with it. We still what is up guys and welcome to a very exciting video. This is sponsored by Gymshark, who have helped me design and oh, build my perfect Oh, so he did get the Gymshark sponsorship, chat. This all started last year. We filmed a video at High Jingo for more Sidemen, and there was a push-up competition in the middle of it. Somehow, I managed to uh, beat Reeve and JJ. I then shot a tweet to Gymshark jokingly, saying, where's the sponsorship? And they actually got in touch with me, said, what can we work on? To I be said, fair, I've though. been going to the gym, I enjoy it, I want to have my own gym at home. And they said, all right, let's do it, let's create this gym. So, without further ado, we're going to go and check it out. So this is the first room in the house that is completed. Now this is what the gym used to look like. It didn't have any equipment in it. We had to get that red cap. I'm telling you right now, this room better look completely different. It better look crazy. It better be a vibe, okay? This is Big Vic. This better go crazy, Vic. You hear this music? Oh my God. I'm out of the place. I don't know how the rest of the house is black and white and there's a random red counter. But what I'm about to show you guys, I think you're gonna like. So let's get to it. Oh, oh. So first thing, I'm not gonna lie, it's kind of dope. But then again, there's no, like, um, what I'm kind of confused at too. I guess I understand it, but I don't understand it. There's not really like a treadmill or anything. It's just like a, it's like a hotel gym kind of setup. I kind of respect it. I don't know. I'm kind of feeling some type of way. I'm not gonna lie to you. I'm not gonna lie to you. It looks alright, but I feel like I like a lot of stuff. You know what I mean? Like I would like a lot of like different machines and stuff like that. But again, he didn't have that much room to go with, and this is like just for those times when he can't make it to the gym. You know what I mean? When he can't make it to an actual gym or when he just wants to get a quick workout at home. So I can respect it in that sense. Design wise, fire. Fire. This looks like a college sports complex. You feel me? Like, this looks fire. I like this completely. Gymshark did their thing. They be going crazy with the black and white. So I'm, I'm here for it 100%. And we have. The in dumbbell that aspect. rack, we're going all the way from the lightweight 3 kgs down to the big. We got 25 kgs. But yeah, it's great to have this just easy access. You run in, you grab what you need. We've got the AC here, which we've had wrapped to fit with the, the style of the room. It's like night mode and it Come creates on. a different kind of vibe. I'm super happy with it. We've got the Gymshark logo glowing. This thing actually just puts out light in every direction, which is good because it means you can be illuminated from every angle when you watch yourself in the mirror. And so that overall, middle like, highlight is really beautiful. Space. I can change it depending on how I'm feeling. With this control, I can just set it to whatever whatever I'm kind of feeling on, on the day. If I'm having a rough day and I just need to move some weights, we can drop it down onto like a, like a red. Turn out all the rest of the lights and just get in the zone. Yeah, this lighting, which is great, just to allow yourself to see yourself properly in the mirror, which is now a whole wall of mirrors. Yeah, you can find loads of good spaces just to look at yourself and kind of focus in on what you're working on. Through here, we've got the same old toilet, some plyo boxes here that are just useful for working out in different kind of ranges. My hips are not great because I spent 10 years of my life sat gaming at a computer like 16 hours a day. So it's good for kind of stretching and doing exercises at a different height and angle. Then come around here, we have got the big boy Nautilus half rack. This is serious kit. I was not expecting to have this. Naughty boy. Fitted in here, it was adjusted for the height. Um, we got bumper plates for deadlifts and stuff. Like it's so just, Solid. Everything you want to do here, you've got. All right, I'm gonna stop now. The music is cracked, but the little not this like little Nautilus bench setup is actually really dope, just because of the fact that he didn't go with like something super cheap. You know what I mean? Like that's gonna break or whatever really easily. This is gonna be really nice. It's like it's you know what I'm saying regulation types fit. You know what I mean? It's not like a smaller than what you would normally see in a gym. So it's actually pretty. It's a, it's some pretty good equipment. You know what I mean? He definitely went for quality, like even with the lighting. So I'm here for this 100%. Vic did his thing on this. He did his thing. Got pull ups from different angles. But I think he needs another bench in there mostly just because i feel the fact that you, he might lift with like three people two two to three people and you're not always gonna want to wait you know what i mean it is a serious serious piece of kit which you can do so much with in terms of heavy lifting and then moving along the cable machine again nautilus it's a quality quality product you can do so much with this we've got loads and loads Damn. of different grips straps 
yeah, I mean, getting these on different heights, using both cables, you can literally work out any muscle that you need to do. I think with these two and the dumbbells, I can do everything I need to. So also on here, yeah, we've got all the different angles for pull-ups and I don't hit the roof, so we can just Damn. get those done. Vic, um, around here we have another guy ripping pull-ups and I shit. I apologize, a mess. We've got some kettlebells in here, up to I think 24 kg. We've got more cable attachments. We've got some boxing gloves. In the back here, we've got my, my next opponent. Wow. Oh! That was, uh, that was not a great punch. That's why you won't see me on any boxing events anytime soon. Or with nah, step out. Step out of it. Come on, step out on these niggas, man. Kill you. This still needs to get some sand in it. It's a little movable. Another key thing that we've got is we've just got this hard step here, which again, you could put it on the floor and use it as like to stabilize yourself on low rows. You could end up sat on this higher box right here. Again, so you could put that up and kind of use it to basically build any more advanced machine that you need in the space. It's an efficient use of the space. And also here we have the newly white table. It just fits perfectly. I can jump in back here. Wasabi get dropped, huh? Got the fridge in here. I respect it. Dishwasher. I could put in a little DJ deck here. People in the gym. I can make some noise. <laughs> so you've seen. Well, I mean, you can't really do that because it's just one. I'm so confused. I'm so confused. There's got to be more to this, bro. This we're only four minutes in. This is ten minutes. There's got to be so much more to this. Got to be. First of all, he needs another weight bench. I feel like I think there should have been two weight benches. I think I said that already. But the whole gym. Hopefully, you've seen some form of a transformation in me. This uh, all stemmed from seeing incredible transformations from uh, JJ and Ethan. Inspired me to you know, work on myself. And then I went skiing. I broke this collarbone. You can see I've got a big metal plate through it right now, which um, kind of made me realize it wasn't even a big jump. It was at this moment that he knew he fucked up. Oh! And it kind of made me feel like, okay, you, you, you're a bit weak here. Let's work on it. And that's all it's really been about. It hasn't been about you know doing more than someone else or looking like someone else. It's just been for my own personal aims just to keep improving myself and it's something that I can go in, okay. I can put the time in and I know that eventually I will see results. So first things first, this is me doing push-ups at the start of my journey. I'm struggling and I'm, I'm wiped out after a few of those. So here we go, I'm doing them in the modern age and they move much, much easier. I could do this all day. Right here, you've Come got on, old Vic. school Vic, hammer curling, seven and a half kg and it's just I'm struggling and rightly so. But let's uh, let's jump in. Let's grab let's grab some 15s now. 15 kg, and then let's get that right. And you can see that there's whew, a big difference in the size of the boy doubling. Come on! He was still kind of struggling there, but come on, Vic! I'm proud of you, baby. What I was able to do then, I wasn't able to do much then, but I'm able to do more now, and that's what it's all about. That's so there's what, a brief exactly, little look in the journey. Vic that we've made and it's going to continue. I'm even more motivated to now that I have this. So uh, expect an update on all of that kind of stuff very soon. But now let's... Uh... Like if, I, if, I, if I imagine this, bro, you know what I'm saying? I'm not even going to lie to you. I would have probably had... I feel like because it's hard to move like the, the bathroom stuff. You know what I mean? So low key, I probably would have had... I probably would have had one big cable machine like that went across like this, right? And it came off, I would have had like a row machine that like came off of it. Like you ever seen those multi-use uh, machines, you know what I mean? Would have had like a back row like slash lap machine, like pull down or whatever machine right here. And then over here, it would have been like a, a just the ending for all standing stuff. And then, see, that's where I'm just lost now because I don't know where I would have put the bench. I don't know where I would put the bench, man. Fuck, dude. Uh, this might have been literally like the only way he could have set it up. Cause there's like no other way to have like another bench in here and have room, you know? Yeah, nah, I mean, I, I feel like he did it, bro. He did it. Uh, let's use the gym in an actual session, see what it looks like um, and get to it. Here we go. Before I started working out, I weighed 55 kilograms. Now we weigh yeah. 65. Oh, I, care, bitch. I wanna see how he uh, moves in the gym though. I do wanna. That before I'd have a bench, so we just did. Yes, so they're gonna nice and equal PB. It's nowhere near a lot of people's. What is that, 60 kg, chat? What is 60 kg in pounds? I'm barely touching it. There you go. Went for it. Not quite there, but it's okay. 
We redo. We're working up. We go. We go. We go. That's fine. Didn't quite manage at 80, but if you guys follow me, I'm sure we'll have an update soon. And that is that is that is one of the goals of the day. So we'll get there. We'll get there. It's time for some reps now. 132, and then what? The bar is what? 50? What is a bar? What's that much of a fucking? I don't even remember. Holy shit! It's been that long, dude. What is a bar? So if if regular, right? 45, 45, 75. What makes that 135? What plus 75 is 135? 25. Was that 60? 60 pounds? Am I wilding? Fun, the fun is over. Do UK barbells like weigh less or different power? God damn, I have no idea. I'm so confused. Oh yeah, we gotta find out, chat. We gotta know, we're wilding right now. How much does a barbell weigh in the UK? Below the most common. Oh, so it's it's the same everywhere? Okay, okay, okay. So, how much is 60 kg pounds? 132 plus 45 is what? 177? Something like that? 170, 177? Hello, okay, everyone. Still, Welcome back to another dolly. He's still doing his damn thing. He's still doing his damn thing. I have no idea about the. He's still doing his damn thing, right? Am I wilding? Is that fifth? Vic, Vic is growing out here. That's what we're happy about. All right. God damn, I'm trying to make this boy why? They trying to make Vic why body out here? No kizzy. So he does do press downs. Why does he only do one form of a press down movement though? Did he do more triceps in here that I missed? Oh yeah, he did do a pull down. No, that's all he did. Just a pull down. He didn't do no other cable movement, huh? I'm confused. Push ups? God damn, after all that? Put see? That shit crazy. You gotta chill out, Vicky Vicky with the Ficky Vic. Yeah, boy, you better boy, you better recognize. You better recognize, oh, big Joe Carroll fitness out here. We used to go crazy back in the day. Ah, we're going to be back on it soon, though, man. But that's hard, though, man. I definitely much respect to Vic out here. I really hope he actually goes crazy. You know what I'm saying? I definitely can see the change in his body from before. I mean, Chuck's anybody should be able to. He's actually, you know what I'm saying, really growing out here, man. I'm proud of my boy. See, look at that boy. My boy getting big out here. Look at fucking arm. Why? That's that Gymshark body, no kizzy. So, yeah. Oh, man, he probably could have put a bench over here. Fuck this boxing thing, man. He ain't swinging at that. I don't know, man. We're going to see what's popping. I think he really could have been out here, bro. He really could have been out here being nice with it. No kizzy. All right, man. Definitely. All right. Well, hey. Love you, Vic. Big peace, Big Daddy.